doing a last minute camping trip. And check out the time. Whoa, 9.47 p.m. on Sunday night, May 29th. So here's the mileage and the total trip is, as you can see, just over 200 miles. 1.32 a.m. arrival. Let's go camping. Almost forgot to show you the back. I've got my sleeping bags. I'm gonna sleep out in the truck bed tonight because the temperature is only supposed to get down to below 50s, which I am totally fine with. Got my mug, my hat. Oh yeah, by the way, if you like this content, please consider liking and subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. If you like to see truck camping content, especially in the Ford Maverick. And I've got my hiking boots down there if I decide to do a, a short day hike tomorrow. Really quick, before I start this trip, uh, and I do want to get going, I just want to make this clear, and I know I've said it in my previous videos, but I, I mean it. Um, if you are currently serving in the United States military, or you know people who have served and who made the ultimate sacrifice and died for our country, um, or if you know people who are still ser serving or you still might be serving currently, I just want to thank you. Both of my grandfathers served in World War II, and I was I was blessed to uh, meet both of them, you know, before they passed away. So, I mean, the uh, yeah, words can't describe. I wouldn't be able to do this camping adventure. Um, uh, you, you know, the Zac Brown band, like that song, Chicken Fried. I mean, it's so true. Having a cold beer on a Friday night or whenever, pair of jeans that fit just right. Like that, without you, without the folks that have served and made the ultimate sacrifice for our beautiful country. And uh, I just, when I'm, when I take these trips and I think about everyone I know who has served in the military, including both of my grandfathers, I, it just, I mean, especially with Memorial Day coming up tomorrow, I wouldn't even be able to do this if our country uh, was not protected. We wouldn't be able to enjoy the simple pleasures um, if our country wasn't protected. Okay, time to hit the road in my 2022 Ford Maverick 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine, all wheel drive Ford Maverick. <laughs> I just gotta find my parking spot. All right, I am at my parking spot. Here I am. Made a pretty good time. As you can see, it's 56 degrees out. Got about a half a tank left, not bad at all. So I'm gonna put this stuff back here. I've got my foam pad and then my actual pad to sleep on, so. We've got the bed, and I'm trying to be quiet because a lot of people, yeah, this KOA is pretty big, so. Um, however, I did see a decent amount of people outside when I pulled in. Seems like everyone's enjoying themselves. I saw some cornhole games out uh, earlier, so I'm gonna try to make this filming uh, pretty quiet. fresh air you can't beat the fresh air it's 56 degrees light breeze no bugs knock on wood uh, 
I say that, I don't want to speak too soon and get bit, but it's, it's beautiful. It's literally the perfect night to camp. Check this setup out. So here's my setup. So you can see I'm gonna be sleeping diagonal. And the only way I can sleep diagonal with the tailgate up, I need to get some lights back here, uh, is because I am five foot six. So yes, believe it or not, I can sleep diagonal in the Maverick. See, there's my pillow. And there's my feet. Plenty of room. <laughs> Plenty of room if you are five foot six. You're probably fine if you're five foot eight, five ten, five eight or taller. Most likely you're gonna have to have the tailgate down. So, but yeah, that's all I got. See you in the morning. morning. I'm starving. I'm ready for some coffee. So it's currently 59 degrees out. Not terribly warm, but I threw in a sweater because I am, because until the coffee, I am a little chilly this morning. Uh, slept okay. I do recall dreaming, so I guess that means I got some decent sleep. So we are gonna get some eggs here, is the inside of the Maverick. So you can see it's kind of messy. <clears throat> so here's what we're working with so you can see so I figured this would be pretty fitting because we are in the Adirondack Mountains If you don't know what the 46 high peaks are, look them up. They're great peaks. I've only done one white face. And I'm actually going to try to show you guys that today because they do have an option to drive up the mountain, believe it or not. And then Mountain Valley Spring Water, because why not? This water is awesome. Delicious. I think I just heard a woodpecker somewhere. They say a cup of lemon. 
in the morning is good for your gut bacteria. So, I don't do it every morning, but. And breakfast is served. I should have brought a larger plate. <laughs> Almost forgot to use this. And the finished product. Should have been a chef. Breakfast was delicious, but come here, I want to show you something. <clears throat> See this? It's a map of New York State. So here's Long Island, New York City, the boroughs just north of New York City. Most people call that upstate. And over here, flip this map around. We are in the Adirondack Mountains. Look how big the Adirondack Park is, by the way. So the boundary of the park is approximately six million acres and it is constitutionally protected to remain a forever wild forest preserve. So about half this land, the Adirondack National Park, consists of timberlands, businesses, homes, private land. The half of the park is open to the public. So yeah, I am just about, I'm in a place called see Wilmington but as you can see the state of New York is huge and here's my hometown Syracuse go orange right here we've got the Finger Lakes Rochester Buffalo go Bills and then obviously Canada as you can see New York is huge so I brought my hefty duty coffee grinder I'm gonna plug it into here, hope it works. Uh, because if it doesn't, we will be hammering coffee grounds with a hammer. All right, as you can see, I've got the 400 watt converter. We should be good. All right, it's getting a little warmer. I took off my sweatshirt. <sighs> do any of you do that? Open up, when you open up a new thing of coffee, is you smell the coffee beans, I don't know. That's something I do. Call me weird, I don't care. And the moment of truth. That's not good. Oh, probably have to have the car. Fingers crossed. Come on, 400 watt converter, you can do it. Sorry, it's early. I guess you actually have to have the car running. Here we go, it's gonna work. <sighs> Thank you. Guys, for the sake of time and the fact that I really want some coffee, I'm not gonna do measuring, you know, out the coffee grounds or the amount of water. I'm just going for it. This is a GSI percolator uh, coffee. see yeah there you go you guys can see the logo I uh, picked it up at LL Bean a while ago so if you want to use this cool um, so I'm just gonna it's pretty straightforward put the coffee grounds right here right put the coffee grounds in there and then boil the water and when it turns when you see it popping up here and it's brown like the color of coffee it's pretty much done all right so you put the grounds in here whoa that could have been really bad <laughs> almost whoops almost spilled it clearly i need coffee bingo wow okay just be very careful you can see there's a lot of moving parts here a lot of moving parts Plus, it's kind of interesting doing this with one hand. Let's see, oh, there's a cool angle. 
Awesome. And yeah, don't forget to add the water, Michael. And as you can see, we've got it on the MSR propane. And then as soon as as soon as we see some brown coffee up there, we know it's ready. And let me tell you, I am excited for some coffee. So the plan is after I enjoy this amazing cup of coffee or two cups of coffee, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna try to take you up Whiteface Mountain because like I said before, you can drive up. Uh, now Whiteface is the only 46 high peak that I've ever climbed. Uh, even though it is tempting to drive up, but that's, that's the lazy way to do it, obviously. If you want to do it the right way you gotta you, you have to climb up it and then go down it but i will say this for the sake of time and for the fact that you get some amazing views up there i am going to drive up and plus i don't feel like uh, hiking white face mountain today <laughs> but i am going to try to get out and do as many 46 high peaks uh, this summer and fall and even into the winter uh, with the maverick please let me know in the comments what type of outdoor truck camping content you want to see because that's primarily what my channel focuses on it's not a uh, ford maverick review channel or comparison uh, channel comparing other mavericks or trucks i'm an outdoors guy i'm not a truck guy however i do love this truck this is the best vehicle i've ever owned partially because it's the first new vehicle i've ever owned but yeah let me know down in the comments what type of stuff you want to see what type of content you want to see me utilize with the Ford Maverick uh, because this really is a, a solid vehicle. If you haven't checked out my West Coast road trip videos yet, it just proves proves how well the Ford Maverick did with gas mileage and also durability. And having this thing for another, you know, at least 10 years, that would be great if this could last me minimum 10. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's not quite ready yet. By the way, I do have to say this. I'm not sponsored by any brands that you see in this video. Like this one. Or this one. Or this one. <laughs> one last thing while, while we are waiting for the coffee to uh, perk. Um, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you knew this, but in 1980, during the Winter Olympics here in, well, not here, but in Lake Placid where I'm about to take you. You ever seen the movie or heard of The Miracle on Ice? Yeah, kind of a big deal. The United States men's hockey team defeated the Soviet Union. I'm not a huge hockey guy myself, but it's, you still have to respect the win uh, and what it stands, what it stood for and what it stands for to this day. So either I am highly impatient or I did not add enough water or whatever, I don't know. But I got this thing ramped up here pretty high. Come on. Also, while I'm waiting for the coffee, there, the cool thing about the Maverick, obviously you have bottle openers here on both sides. But you've got three cup holders. And funny enough, it actually does provide some value you know just kind of put whatever there i mean it's not a huge deal i can just do that but you know what actually it is a pretty big deal so thank you for it <laughs> for, for adding those cup holders i think i heard something come on again as i'm waiting here patiently for the coffee <laughs> um yeah, oh Sorry, hold on. Can it be? Oh, you guys see that? <laughs> yes. Persistence and patience pay off once again. Wow. So again, is once you see some brown, that is when you take it off. Oh, I think I see some brown. Yes. Here we go. 
go. Yes. All right. Okay. Probably could have used a used more coffee grounds, but that's okay. So I'm not a cream and sugar guy. However, I will dabble in cream, some milk if it's available. I try not to put sugar in my coffee. I'm not saying that I never have, but here we go. First, first sip of the coffee. First sip of camping coffee for the summer of 2022 in the one and only Ford Maverick XL. Actually, I'll do a quick walk around. So some of you who maybe you're coming by my channel for the first time, you haven't really seen the, you haven't really seen my Maverick. Check out these holes. Check out these holes that a woodpecker pecked. All right, time for the coffee. Bless you. Here we go. Yep. Yep. Definitely the best coffee I've ever had in the entire world. Not kidding. <laughs> uh, it's a little weak if you want my honest feedback, <laughs> but uh, it's not bad. Not bad. I'm, a little, I'm, I'm going to let it cool off for a little. Enjoy this beautiful sunshine here. Wildlife. See it? They're called chipmunks. They're a rare breed. Bless you. See this guy coming up on me? Northwest. at 11 o'clock. No, I'm just kidding, I see chipmunks all the time. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. You could see the tree with, you could see the tree's reflection. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to show myself in there or the phone. That's really cool. I don't know about you, but whenever I'm out in nature, I mean, again, that's why I'm doing this channel it, it rejuvenates my soul. I'm just happier. Yes, the sun is out. And yes, the weather is beautiful. And the bugs are not, like, attacking me. But I, if I can inspire one person to get outside and do a camping trip when, you know, maybe they were thinking of just staying in on the weekend, then, man, I, I've done my job with this channel. Uh, the whole purpose is to help you get outside into nature more. Uh, to think outside of the box, use your creative gifts from God. And I, I strongly believe everybody has creative gifts. Then to get outside of your comfort zone, whatever that looks like. It could be camping, it could be asking a girl out on a date, whatever. I hope my channel inspires somebody to do something that they're proud of and that they enjoy doing. Maverick. What do you all think of the color? If you don't know my Maverick story, I pre-ordered a Alto Blue hybrid. Long story short, I didn't want to wait. <laughs> and this thing, and this one became available. I called dealerships around town. Finally, somebody got back to me. Uh, this was in November of last year, and 
this was the only color option. I mean, this was it. This was, this was the only available uh, Maverick at the time. So uh, the cactus gray, that's the, the color. It's really grown on me. I really do love it. I love this purchase. It's the best darn purchase I've, I've had in a while. <laughs> so... taking this truck from New York to California and back. Proud of the way it's held up so far. So I showed this in my first Maverick video on my channel, but in case uh, some of you don't know, this is what you can do with the tailgate. Take this. You just pull up like that, prop it up there. Do the same thing over here. And voila. You put paddleboard, kayaks, whatever back here. I definitely need to invest in a used, a good used paddleboard or kayak because I want to get out on the water this summer and do some and do some kayaking and paddleboarding. So that's what it looks like. You got the tailgate lifted in this position. So just paid the entrance fee, which was 20 bucks. And as you can see, I still have 16 minutes to go. So this is cool. So here we go, Whiteface Mountain. The only high peak I have ever climbed. So I feel pretty lazy driving up it. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it for you. I'm doing it for you too. I wanna show you all the beautiful views up here. I promise it'll be worth it. All right, are you ready for some sweet views? Not even going to say anything. Okay, I'm going to say one thing. See that castle thing up there? See that up there? That's where, that's where we're going. All the way up there. If your soul did not just get rejuvenated by this, I don't know. I don't know what will. Uh, I I hope it did though. I hope this I hope this cheered up somebody's day. Well, I didn't make it. I just saw how rocky the climb was up to the top, and then I bailed. So. <laughs> Just over 4,600 above sea level. So as you can see, we have a long way to go. At this point, if you're finding any value at all, consider subscribing uh, because this is a workout. Walking up these steps, in sandals, probably not the greatest idea. I literally did not know this was, because I've, I've never been up this way. I actually like hiked the real mountain. Uh, took pretty much all day. This was back in college with a couple buddies. But yeah, uh, look at, just take a look. Please consider liking and subscribing if you're finding value out of these videos. Uh, look at this.
I do not want to go to the top of that right now, but I'm doing it for you, YouTube. And it's going to help me get a good workout in. So, wasn't planning on doing a workout today, but that's okay. <laughs> Speechless. Words do not bring this justice at all. On this beautiful Memorial Day, I just again want to say thank you to everybody who is currently serving or who has served, uh, or if you know a loved one who's perished uh, fighting for this land that you see right here uh, to keep it safe and protected. I cannot thank you enough. Wearing sandals was probably not the best idea. Here's a fun fact. 40 miles per hour is the average wind speed during the month of January on the top of this mountain. Very interesting. So all of you know, obviously they have the safe protective rails, but as you can see, that's the drop off. Yeah, pretty hectic. You don't want to drop off there. So I'm going to stop filming myself walking up this so I can pay attention uh, and not slip. Okay, see you at the top. Made it. God's country. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Would you rather be in a large city like New York City or living up here in the mountains? Or both? Definitely got to take your time up here. No words. No words. Four thousand eight hundred and sixty seven feet. Six tradition.
All right, I have to admit, on the way down, I took the elevator. Sorry, <laughs> not gonna lie about it. I took the elevator. Uh, one, because I was lazy. Two, because I was wearing sandals. And three, to save time. Because I still wanna show you guys uh, downtown Lake Placid really quickly and uh, a couple other things if we have time. So I hope you're still with me and, and I hope you're still enjoying the video. Here's a quick look at downtown Lake Placid. I know there's much more to this. If any of you live out here, let me know. Let me know what it's like for somebody in their early 30s to live out here. Because it looks pretty fun. Everybody's running or biking. I saw a lot of kayaks too. Kayaks and paddle boards. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I feel like I have to get something like socks or, you know, something, nothing crazy expensive. Well, I don't know. Let's see how much these socks are. Uh, 16 bucks, not bad. Oh, 15, nice. Yeah, I definitely might have to get some socks. All right, let's go check this out. I believe February 22nd, 1980. We beat the Russians. This is a replica stick signed by the goalie, Jim Craig. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Speed skating oval. That's really neat. Very cool. Wow, look at that thing. That looks very difficult <laughs> to skate on. Wow. the different skating blades, wow. World renowned figure skating coach, Gustave F. Rusi. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Did not know that. Lake Placid Speed Skating Oval was home to the first three-tiered victory podium to celebrate the gold, silver, and bronze medalists. Wow. Did not know that. Whenever I think of the 1980 Olympics, obviously, I think of the miracle on ice and the hockey team. So the, the other teams were clearly overshadowed uh, by that team for, for good reason, but it's neat to know. Uh, some other interesting facts about other teams in the 1980 Olympics. Wow, that's cool. Look at this. This 
it's the original Winter Games poster. So cool. Ah, oh, look at the bobsled helmet. One of the original Dasher boards and hockey nets used in the 1980 Olympic Winter Games. Wow. Jim Craig is best known for having 39 saves in the semifinal game against the heavily favored Soviet Union. Wow. 39 saves. I'm not even a hockey fan, and I know that's a lot. <laughs> this is cool. Known as one of the greatest moments in sports history, the U.S. team defeated the powerful Soviet Union, which was considered the best hockey team in the world. This young team of amateur and collegiate players was led by coach Herb Brooks. Their 4-3 win over the Soviet Union team rallied the entire American nation and captured the hearts of winter sports fans everywhere. The U.S. team went on to defeat Finland 4-2 in the final game to win the gold medal. So cool. This is awesome. Highly, even if you're not a hockey fan, I highly recommend coming here and checking this place out. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at the programs back then. These guys look so young. <laughs> It's because they were. So cool. Wow, look at that ticket. Really hope you guys are appreciating this. This is, again, even if you're not into sports, this is just really, really patriotic and awesome. <laughs> So Eric Heaton became the Hayden Heaton became the hero of the 1980 Winter Olympic Games. The superstar set one of the world record, one new world record, and broke five Olympic records. Wow! Became the first person in Olympic history to win five individual gold medals at one Olympic Games. That is pretty cool. <laughs> pretty darn hard to do, I would imagine. Wow! Five gold medals. Unreal. This is so cool. I don't know why. No. Oh, look at that coat. So imagine walking down the end of your street and looking at that. So here's the mileage. We are filling up here at the local gas station. And check out the gas prices on Memorial Day 2022 in Lake Placid at a Stewart's. And there we go. As you can see, a lot of construction here. Pretty cool downtown. All right, that's it. I got three bagels, three plain bagels, local spot, and then a breakfast uh, bagel, bacon, egg, and cheese. Enjoy the rest of your day, and whenever you're watching this, I, I hope it inspired you in some way to get outside into nature, maybe do a weekend camping trip with your family, or do a solo truck camping adventure like I just did. 
uh, last minute. So for watching, liking, and subscribing, it means the world to me. It really does. I'm not just saying that. I want to provide all of you value. Liking and subscribing, you can obviously uh, help out my channel. So thank you. So right, really quick you. overall thoughts of Lake Placid, even though I didn't spend nearly as much time as I uh, would like to spend one day. Maybe a whole week up here would be nice. Uh, the town currently is under construction downtown, but probably for a good reason. There's still people out and about. There's still places open. If you're into the city life, I would recommend living in New York City or, or visiting uh, the Big Apple as opposed to up here. If you like the outdoors and a little bit of, you know, downtown old school vibe, definitely check out Lake Placid. Did this video inspire you to check it out and visit it someday? So please let me know. Are you more of a city person, more of an outdoors uh, person? I uh, clearly I'm more of an outdoors person. Uh, but I again, not, I'm not saying I don't like the Big Apple. It's, uh, it's just a different vibe video uh, driving through New York City with the Ford Maverick uh, back in, oh boy, it was, I wanna say early March. So yeah, I've been a lot of places with this Ford Maverick and I can confidently say the way this thing handled, the way the Maverick handled around the bends and turns here in the Adirondacks, handled great, no, no issues. So if you have any questions about the Ford Maverick, leave them down in the comments. I appreciate it, till the next one.